Just a quick tutorial today for LumaFusion and um, how to create a TikTok or Instagram reel from just a photo. Um, LumaFusion is one of my favourite pieces of software on iOS actually. Um, I've done this tutorial on an iPhone but it works exactly the same on the iPad. Just a slightly different layout due to the bigger screen. So let's jump to it. Okay, so we're in LumaFusion here. So firstly, we want to create a new project. So we click this plus and then click the plus next to it. And we want a 30 frames per second video, nine by 16, so it's portrait for the real format. Uh, color space can stay standard and then hit plus. We then want to import our photo. On this occasion, I'm just gonna add one from my favorites folder. This Milky Way shot. Okay, so we've got a video here and the first thing we want to do is extend that to about 11 seconds long. I'm using a mouse for the sake of this tutorial so you can see the spot on the screen. It's a little bit unnatural for me on an iPhone, but it'll help the tutorial. So, Okay. If we double click on that photo, it'll take us to the frame and fit dialog, which is selected at the bottom. <clears throat> if it's not selected, make sure you select it. And then we want to go to the beginning of this 11 second clip and create a keyframe by hitting plus. And then with this size and position, we want to position the first frame over the Milky Way then we want to jump to the 11 second mark at the end, create a new keyframe, then we want to position it over the boat. And if we hit play, we've got a nice transition from left to right. Also, what I do is I'll add the clip in again for about five seconds at the end, but I'll rotate it to landscape so that the viewer can rotate their phone and see the, the full picture. So if we make that about five seconds, double click. Under size and position, we want to go to rotation, click there, minus 90. Enter. And then we want to scale it down on the size. So it just fits. And then again, if we go to the beginning of the clip, add a keyframe, and then go to the end of the clip at the five second mark, add another clean uh, keyframe, and just do a slight zoom. So then when it switches to this clip, you've got a nice gentle zoom in. It's just nice to have the pictures moving, even if it's just a little bit, it just works better for video. So now we've got the two clips, the 11 second pan, which is followed by the five second landscape version with the slight zoom. Now between these two clips, we can go click on this um, photos icon again here and select transitions. And then we can add a cross dissolve on top of these two clips. So that there's a nice gentle fade in from clip one to clip two. So if we now hit play, you'll go from the pan to the transition, transition to the zoom clip. Okay, so that's ready for your reels. So now if we click the share icon here, go to movie, save it to your photos folder, and we want to select the 1080p portrait here. So 1080 by 1920, iPhone preview. Um, frame rate 30 frames per second, that's fine. Video quality, we want 
if we put on at least quality or extreme. Then we click share again, and that will write it to your photos folder. So now if we go to the photo, no, actually, we know it's in the photos. If we now go to Instagram, click the plus icon, go to real. If we now click at the bottom left, you can see the video we've just made. If we add that and then add an audio track, for this, I'm just going to use separate ways from uh, Stranger Things. I won't play the music for long, otherwise I'll get a copyright strike. But you get the gist and you go next and your video is ready. So um, yeah, I've deleted the audio just because I don't want the copyright claim coming up on this video. But um, yeah, it's a nice way to share your photos and reels tend to get a bit more viewed than Instagram photos these days. So hope this helps and all the best.